Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com. In this quick video, I'm going to show you the uh, review of the EaseUS uh, data recovery tool. Um, I've done a lot of data recovery software reviews, and this is another one that you could use and kind of test and see if it's going to work for your needs. So uh, over here, uh, this is the kind of way I do all these tests because I'm trying to simulate a data loss of some sort. And so uh, on this, uh, basically, I basically just got an SD card here, and I have a, a variety of type of files. I have an MP3, have a couple of JPEGs, have an MP4, so just a video clip and another JPEG there. So this is only a few files, um, and this card did have some um, raw files on it before that were formatted through the camera. So I have formatted, I've done a low level format on the camera, brought this card into the computer, and put some files on it to basically act as in a way like a USB drive. And so I'm going to try to recover these, but first what I need to do is format the, uh, the SD card. So to do that, I'm going to go in here to my disk utility on a Mac, and I'm going to select the untitled, which is right here. This is the untitled drive, and I'm going to go to erase. I'm just going to leave the name as untitled, and I can choose any one of these formats. I'm going to do the uh, FAT format. It's just the easiest and quickest. So I'm going to click Erase here, and that's going to erase that, uh, that hard drive there or that SD card and get it completely cleaned off. So if we were to go back in there, we have nothing there. Um, so basically, then trying to simulate the best I can a data loss of some sort. So now we can exit that out, and we still have it loaded here. And these are our other drives that are attached to our computer, so we can do it on that as well. But um, these are actual hard drives that I have important stuff on, obviously. So I don't want to do that. Uh, but right here is our uh, untitled drive here. And I'm just going to go ahead and click Scan. And what that's going to start doing is scanning this 16 gigabyte flash drive just to see what it has on it. So we're going to let it do its thing and then come back. Okay, so the scan just finished and it was a deep scan. It took a little longer than uh, what I've typically seen from other data recovery, especially when this drive is only 16 gigs at the most. Um, so uh, I was kind of disappointed in that, but it was a deep scan, so I guess we can uh, forgive that a little bit. But as you can see here, we only had, uh, I can't remember exactly, but we only had about uh, probably less than 10 uh, or so files and it recovered a, uh, a large amount so a lot of this stuff was actually previously uh, previously on here it was formatted multiple times in camera and we just did a uh, format through disk utility on a Mac so you can see it recovered a lot of stuff so if we were to go in here um, here it looks like is most of the stuff that we uh, uh, that we uh, put on the card before so this is uh, seven seven images here uh, in this area, we have some uh, some MP3s here, uh, so we can recover all of that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to click here, and we have uh, 123 unlabeled files. Uh, not sure if we can see exactly what those are. Uh, so it looks like these are just camera raw images here. Uh, probably the same thing over here. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, again, camera raw images. So I'm not going to recover all those because that will take a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to recover these here. But I, before I recover, I just want you to see that you can, uh, it, it's definitely going to pull a lot of stuff that was previously on the card. So that's a good sign. Um, so we're going to go down here and recover now. And we're going to pick a location. I'm just going to do, and it's going to start recovering stuff and just putting it on my desktop right now. Okay, so it just finished the recovery. It didn't take that long, especially for just the limited amount of files that we have. So here is the folder that it recovered. So we go in here. Um, we're going to go into the JPEGs. And, uh, yep, these are the JPEGs. They are full resolution from what they were. That's a good sign. Uh, we have our MP3 here. Uh, I'm going to play this shortly. Yep, yeah, that plays perfectly fine. And uh, let's see our movie file. Let's see if that's not uh, working there. Yep, it's perfect. So uh, from what it pulled back before, it, everything pulled back, some, none of it is corrupt. I have seen some corruption happen with uh, other data recovery tools. It says that you can find stuff, and it does find it, but uh, it is a little bit corrupt when you get it back. So it's a hit or miss, but this one from the test we've done here uh, is, uh, worked perfectly. Everything was brought back, and it even brought back more than we wanted to uh, with multiple formats 
uh, and then multiple um, uh, formats on the computer and in the camera. So that's a good sign. So if you want to test this software out for yourself, link in the description down below is where you can get it and you can get the free version, which uh, limits a little bit of stuff there, but you can get the pro version like we have and, uh, and, and start recovering all your tools. It's really good to have, especially if you are a person like me who accidentally format stuff in the camera and uh, before you go out and shoot. So this is a good way of, uh, of knowing that you can recover your data when you get back to the house. So thank you guys for joining me in this quick review. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens, and I'll see you in the next one.